Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I have partnered with Sephora and Kohl's to show you everything I keep in my summer beauty travel bag. These are some of my favorite heat humidity tested Miami approved products that are great for summer travel. Whether you're planning to be beachside, poolside, somewhere tropical, or really spending any amount of time outdoors, this is everything you need to create this very glowy, fresh faced summer makeup look. And all of these products are available at Kohl's. And here's a pro tip. Did you know that when you shop your Sephora favorites through Kohl's, you can earn double rewards. I didn't either, but let me fill you in on the secret. You get your beauty insider points and Kohl's rewards on all of your beauty purchases. And then those rewards can later be converted into Kohl's cash for you to spend later on. I just signed up myself and I'm really excited because the two Kohl's locations that are closest to me are getting Sephora this summer. Perfect timing. I will make sure to include the link to the Kohl's Rewards sign up down below along with the full product breakdown for today's makeup look. Of course, we can't talk about summer beauty without also talking about sun protection. It is one of the most important things you can do for your skin, maybe the most important thing you could do, especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time outdoors, you do not want to get sunburnt. So these are two of my favorite sunscreens. This is the Shiseido Clear Sun Stick. It has SPF 50. And this is the Super Goop Glow Screen. You already know this is one of my all-time favorite, most restocked products from Sephora. It has SPF 40, hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, sea lavender, and cocoa peptide. So it has a lot of incredible skincare ingredients as well. Plus it's illuminating. So it's a really great illuminating primer beneath your foundation. I'm now the proud owner of all four shades of glow screen. I love it so much. Not only is it available in different undertones, but it's available in different sizes. And they have the perfect little mini size that is great for travel. Dawn, sunrise, golden hour, sunset. The Shiseido Synchro Shield Wet Force Heat Force Sunscreen Stick is also incredibly portable, easy to just throw in a bag since it's a solid stick. You know, it's not going to leak anywhere. And I'm actually thinking I'll probably pick up another one of these and just keep it in my purse just in case I'm ever out and about and maybe I applied sunscreen in the morning, but it's been a few hours and even a short walk outside, like the parking lot to a store, can be enough to get a lot of sun. I also think this is great for applying to the hands as you're holding the steering wheel. There are so many uses for this. I love it so much. This is what we're gonna start with today. It's so easy to glide on and it's retractable, which is nice. Beneath makeup, on top of makeup, as a touch-up stick, it works for all occasions. It's also really easy to apply to the body because it's hands-free. If you do want to add a little color, a little bronze illumination, this is an incredible product. This is the Tan Luxe Super Gloss Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. It's the Illuminating Bronzing Drops. It also contains SPF 30. I want to show you what this looks like. It is so beautiful in sunlight. It instantly gives you golden hour skin. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this today. It looks really dark and intimidating, but once you blend it out, it just looks so pretty on the skin. It adds that really beautiful glow. And you have even more sun protection with the SPF 30. Complexion is so personal. When it comes to choosing the perfect vacation foundation, you can go in so many different directions. You could go with more of a sheer skin tint. It also depends on the type of coverage you like and where you're going. If you're going somewhere maybe a little bit more upscale and you know you're going to have fancier dinners, maybe you have a beach wedding or a summer special event, then you are going to want to pack something with a little bit more coverage. I usually like to take maybe two foundations if it's going to be a longer trip. That way I have options and I don't have to go full coverage every day or no coverage every day. I love a stick option. This is the Makeup Forever Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. What's great about a stick is it's virtually mess free and you can slowly build up the product. So I'm gonna apply just a small amount and then if we need a little bit more, you can always add more. If you have any fun summer travel plans already on the books, please share in the comments. I would love to live vicariously through you. Right now, we don't have any big trips planned. We do have a couple weekends in the Keys coming up. Well, I shouldn't say coming up in several months, but at least they are on the calendar. Every year, even if we don't do a big trip somewhere, we definitely like to drive down to the Florida Keys because it's so close. Depending on which key, it could be 45 minutes to Key Largo, quick little skip over to Isla Mirada is only about an hour and a half away. 
and it feels so different from Miami. It's still very tropical, but you could be in the Bahamas. It's just a slow pace of life. It's casual, flip-flops, <laughs> flip-flops and floppy hats. And it's so relaxing and just peaceful. Another place we've been talking about and wanting to visit for a long time is Yellowstone, the national park I visited a long time ago. It's been years. We took a family trip a long time ago and it was so beautiful and my husband has never been. And I think that is truly one of the most beautiful places you can visit in America. There's so much nature, there's so much to see and you realize how many wide open spaces there still are. We saw so many wild animals. I highly recommend if anybody has been curious or ever wanted to visit Yellowstone. Of course, now that the show Yellowstone is so popular, I imagine it's even more expensive and everybody knows about it now. I don't think we're caught up on the final season of Yellowstone. We kind of put it on the back burner for a while, but we'll need to catch up because it's a great show. I wasn't sure how this combination of products was going to turn out, but I actually love everything together. I'm very glowy. We have lots of SPF, which is important, but I feel like that stick did such a great job. Kind of evens out the skin tone a little bit, and there's nowhere I need to stipple or add product, maybe a little bit on the chin. You can really customize the coverage by just kind of adding a teeny tiny bit, any place that you might need a little bit more foundation. I don't know about you, but I love to travel with my favorite tried and true products. I never like to go without. Even if I'm not traveling, I'm what is known as a pack rat. I always have to have everything on me at all times, and I don't want to compromise, especially if I'm on a trip. I want to feel my best. I want to look my best. I don't want any surprises when it comes to my makeup routine, so I like little shrunken minis. They're smaller sizes, they're easier to travel with, and you can just kind of keep them already packed and ready to go. These are two of my favorites. We have the little mini NARS concealer, and this is a mini Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have one of these sitting in my empties right now, but that one was shade two, I believe, and this is shade 6.5. This is going to be my bronzer for the day, and then of course we're gonna highlight with concealer. Usually I go in with concealer first, but I'm going to start with bronzer since we're using this as a cream bronzer. I'm going to apply this first and blend this out and then we can go back to highlight. The mini sizes are so cute to look at. I think that's another great purpose for mini sizes. You can try a product before you commit to the full size, just in case it's something that you're maybe trying for the first time. That way you're not spending as much money figure out if it's worth investing in the full size. I'm just using the same brush to blend this out. This is my Sephora Foundation 56 brush. One trip that we did talk about taking, I'm not sure if it will actually happen, but we talked about maybe going to the US Open this year. I think it's gonna be in California, Los Angeles in June. That would definitely be hot. <laughs> These products would definitely be coming with me if we end up going. I love this as a bronzer. Usually I go with a lighter shade and I use it as an illuminating primer, but because it's kind of sheer and it has that glow, it looks so natural as a bronzer. It's a liquid, not a cream, and I think that also makes it really easy to blend. And now I'm going in with my Barbie-sized concealer to give us a little brightness. This is such a classic product. Medium, buildable coverage, beautiful finish. It's a great summer weight concealer, I would say. On the subject of vacation, if anybody has any packing tips, let me know. I'm a pretty good packer, even though I like to take everything because I usually go with small sizes. It doesn't really take up too much room. The makeup is never the problem. The skincare is never the problem. It's always shoes, shoes and sometimes accessories. If you need to bring another purse or another bag and the outfits, of course. I'm so impressed how everything is blending beautifully together. You know what I love the most about this makeup so far is that I can still see my freckles when I look up close. That's always my sign. That's how I judge and gauge 
whether a makeup look is a little bit too heavy or if it's light enough, if I can still see my freckles, then I know my skin is still shining through. And that's really what you want. You don't want to be wearing a full mask of makeup if you're going to be spending a lot of time outside. If you're like me and you don't like to skip any of the steps, the key is less is more. If you're going to layer products, I always do. I can't help myself. Even when I tell myself I'm not going to, I end up doing basically a full face whenever we're on a trip. But I go in with a little bit less than I normally would and it ends up looking really nice. So I have another mini here. This is one of my favorite setting powders. It's the Huda Beauty. This is the Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. It's the baby because it's so small. And this is the shade Pound Cake. I do have this in a full size and it's banana bread. I've never used the Pound Cake. It's almost always sold out. This is so impossible to get your hands on, but this powder lasts such a long time. I actually think this is such a great deal for the price, the amount of product, for how long this will last you. This is another product that is great for touch up. And this way you can really control where you apply the powder. And I like that it really presses it into the skin as well. It is so finely milled. You're really not going to be able to see this unless you cake it on your face. It is the cake powder, but you really would have to apply a lot of this powder for it to show up. I swear I apply so much of this and it just immediately disappears into the skin. I suppose because it is intended for baking, but they did such a great job with this formula. I want to make sure I get right underneath the eye so I can set the concealer. So I am going in with my Pro Blush 99 brush. This has become my favorite setting powder brush. Even though it says blush, I use it for powder. It's just the perfect shape. Now this right here has become one of my favorite new launches from 2023. This is the NARS Orgasm Foreplay Blush Quad. It is so beautiful. I knew it was pretty when I first saw this launch. You have the pastel pink packaging. It's very Barbie summer, beautiful. And NARS blush palettes are always great quality, stunning colors. But this particular quad is so concise, efficient, perfection. Whenever I swatched this, I was just blown away. Because I usually take so many minis whenever I travel, it leaves room for at least one palette. And when I travel, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, I do take one palette with me because the palette is going to work for the face and the eyes. I really like this baby pastel with the gold sheen. And they go on a little bit more transparent. It's a very sheer light powder. It's not super pigmented or intense, which in this case, I think it's a good thing because it allows you to layer, it goes on like more like a thin veil and it will keep the look really fresh faced, very spring summer. It's not going to replace your highlighter, it really is a blush, it's just meant to be so light and natural. I'm not even gonna wipe the brush, I'm just gonna go straight into the gold and apply just a little bit of this. We don't need much because we have so many illuminating complexion products, I don't want it to get over the top. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on top of the blush. Overall, this is one of my favorite complexions I've done recently. I love how everything blended together still looks like skin, but it looks really light and glowy. My brow routine never changes. I always use the same product, so I quickly filled in my eyebrows off camera. And now I've pulled out the palette so we can work on the eyes. And this is a Sephora 26 brush. I think I want to go in the same shade we used on the cheek. Just to tie everything together, sort of a monochromatic makeup look. It's going to be pretty light, but that's okay. I'm just buffing this around the crease. Using a little bronzer and blush on the eyes is the easiest way to streamline your makeup. You don't have to take out as many products, even if you're not traveling. I think that's always a good tip. With a Sephora 19 brush, I'm going to pick up the deeper shade in the palette. It's the deepest shade in the palette, but it's still pretty light. This is going in the outer V just to give a little dimension to the eye. It can be a cheek topper, it can be an eyeshadow. If you wet this on a precision brush, you could even turn this into the most beautiful eyeliner. For the lid, I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna pick up the gold. 
I'm tapping this all over the inner lid into the center. Really fast, really easy, but a very dynamic look. These tones are so beautiful, they kind of remind me of a sunset or golden hour because they're warm and sort of sultry. It's a very romantic look. With my 18 brush, I'm picking up the bronze shade and I'm going to buff just a little bit beneath the lower lash line. I threw on a little eyeliner and lip liner and now it is time for lashes. This is one of my oldest holy grails and I haven't used this in a long time. I was excited to see that Kohl's carried the mini. This is the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara. If you've been around a while, you know I've talked about this. It is the perfect wand. It's not too curved, but it's just the perfect curve so that it fits so perfectly next to the lashes. You can get basically your entire lash line all at the same time. So it's really fast and easy and it just leaves them looking so fluffy. And this is truly one of the best formulas out there. Makeup is just about done. The last step is lips and I'm going to use one of my favorite new summer products. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I have two shades here. This is Pink Sugar and Cherry. I think either one would work for the look. This could be day, evening. This is a little bit more casual. I don't think you can go wrong. Both are beautiful. I'm going to throw on a little bit of the cherry. This is a summer staple for me. It feels incredible. I like gloss. You guys know I hate matte lipsticks. I love lip gloss. This is sort of a gloss lip mask hybrid. It almost feels like one of the lip masks that I apply before bed. It has that really nourishing, hydrating treatment type of feel. But this one has a great tint of color slight cherry scent and it's super glossy this is the perfect summer color they feel so smooth if you have dry lips and you're always throwing on a lip balm or maybe you're looking for the perfect summer lip balm type of product highly recommend these and you know, I bet in a pinch you could probably use this as a blush as well if you wanted to be really monochromatic. I think it matches the eyes perfectly. I'm going to set my makeup with another one of my favorite minis. This is from Iconic London. It's the Prep Set Glow Setting Spray, and I actually finished the mini size. I have the full size as well, but I love this in a mini form. This is great for prep. You could spritz this on before you even start your makeup. You can use it to set, you can use it, you can kind of spritz it on the body. I like to use this to set my concealer as well or to blend out my concealer. So many uses for it. And you truly can see a little shine to the skin after you use it. Mmm, the smell is so nice. I love this setting spray. This and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray are my two favorites. Makeup for the day is now complete, but I have a few other beauty products that I absolutely love that I have to share with you. This I've talked about quite a bit. This is the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Butter. So this is something that is amazing once you've already applied your base coat of sunless tan. If you're a sunless tanner like me, you know that it's tough in between tans to keep it looking really nice. This is your secret weapon because it's a body lotion. It also has a hint of gold shimmer to it and it's a buildable tan. So it gives you a little color as you apply this. So once I'm already tan, this is the type of product that I almost always take this with me on trips. This is going in the suitcase, not a travel makeup bag. But if I've tanned for my destination, but I don't want to bring a bottle of sunless tanner, the, you know, the mousse, the mitt, I don't want to bring all of that with me. This is my secret weapon because it gives you that gradual tan. The shimmer almost evens out the skin tone. It makes your skin look really perfected and glowy and luminous. So it's a beautiful lotion for daytime. You have to wash your hands. If you like the idea of a body lotion that has a hint of shimmer, but you don't want the gradual tan, I highly recommend the Rio Radiance Cream from Sol de Janeiro. I believe it's limited edition, so hurry. But they have the Rio Radiance Body Mist as well. It smells incredible. I have that. This lotion is amazing. It really does smell like the mist. It has vanilla, coconut. It's really warm and sensual like most of the Sol de Janeiro fragrances. Oh, a delicious gourmand. This smells like the beach. A little bit like suntan lotion, but in the best possible way. 
to keep the underarm smelling nice, of course you have to pack a good deodorant. I have been loving the Sephora Collection deodorant. Another hidden gem with Sephora Collection, this is the coconut scent. 92% natural ingredients. It's refreshing and soothing. The coconut is nice because it complements any other body lotions and scents I'm going to be wearing while I'm on a vacation. Which brings us to fragrance because you can't take a tropical vacation or any vacation without packing the perfect perfume. I like to have different options. This has become one of my favorite new launches of 2023. This is the Valentino Born in Roma Intense. The original Born in Roma is really nice, but there is something about this intense version that just speaks to me. I feel like this is Miami in a bottle. It is a bit bolder or more intense, but it's not really heavy or deep or moody. I think this is a summertime fragrance and it can be worn daytime or evening. And I love that as it dries down, you definitely get a little vanilla, a little jasmine, but it smells a little bit like coconut, a little bit like bubblegum coconut because of the jasmine. It is so pretty. I have the full size bottle and now I have the travel spray so I can take it with me on all of my summer trips. And that is it. My travel makeup bag is now packed and ready to go for any trips we have this summer. And I feel 100% confident with this makeup look. I absolutely love the way it turned out. The only thing missing, and there is still plenty of room in this bag, brushes, hair products if necessary. I think today the only thing missing is dry shampoo because it is definitely a wash day, but that's okay. We fixed the hair. And then skincare, which I usually just take little samples with me anyways. That way you really reduce the amount of space you need. So this right here, these are the essentials. Body care, shimmer, glow. I feel like with these products, we could do a dramatic, sultry date night look, but also keep it really fresh and sun protection. The number one most important thing you need to pack with you for your summer trips that is definitely taken care of in here. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and getting ready with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked seeing all of these products in their mini sizes. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. I will also include the sign up for Kohl's rewards. You are not going to want to miss out on double rewards on all of your Sephora purchases, which you're going to make anyways. Everything you need will be down below in the description box. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.